All right, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use Market Advisor. Um, basically, you have three sections that we commonly use. And the first one is very simple. You just pick the date, you pick the gene quality range that you want to do filtering on, and then there's number of breeds. Uh, all those sliders can be either multi-select or just you can select a single uh, number of breeds, for example. It's three, like three to four or three and three means you will look only at the... Uh, access that bread three times right so this is the top section and then the second one is where you define how you want to look at the prices either it's a listing prices or the sold prices so it's sold prices means this is at what the axis was sold then the class you can pick either multiple or single class uh, in here like by holding control and selecting you will do multi-select uh, for this demo, it will be just aquatic class. Uh, and then you have purity in here that you, you will be able to switch it from, you know, either range or, or single number. Uh, for this purpose, we will keep it at six uh, for today's demo. And then um, here you have a graph that shows you the average price and the volume. The price would be in the red. Volume would be in the white lines. Right, and then here on the top, you will see how much access actually is found within the selected uh, filters. You will also see the average price uh, for the sold axis and average price for the listed axis. So, as you can see, normally people list much higher, but in reality, they sell at much lower prices. Right, and the tab table on the right will just list every axis that is in this uh, selection range. Right, uh, and so you will have everything here. You can click, it will bring you to the actual listing with the details on the uh, marketplace. You can sort by mark uh, by the USD. You can sort by gene quality or by C grade. Uh, C grade is the consistency grade. It's a composite number that reflects uh, how R1 R and R2 genes are consistent and compared to D. So 4.4 four would say it's a printer, so it means all the genes in R1 and R2 are equal to D. Uh, if you look at the example, like a different example, for example, 4.2 four would mean that 4 genes in R is exactly the same as in D, 2 genes in R2 is exactly, uh, yeah, 2 out of 4 genes in R2 are exactly the same as in D. Uh, and then let's switch to the third section, which is the most interesting one. Uh, so for the third part, uh, here you can see you have four uh, axis parts listed mouse, tail, horn and back. And the main important thing that you have to remember is that you can freeze your selections. Uh, like if you do control click, you can select multiple things like, for example, Shoal Star, Risky Fish, Nima. And I'm holding the control and I'm clicking. So uh, you, you, you multi-select and the goldfish, for example. Once you do that, you see this yellow dot appears. That means it's frozen in, in this, this, within this selection. Basically, you just now picked your build. Risky Fish, Nima, Goldfish, and Shoal Star. And now for that particular build, you get your stats in here. So it's average price for this build within this gene quality and this breeding range is $315. If you want to see what the versions are, just move the slider to zero for the, for the number of breeds and you'll get $400 and as an average for that particular build for the virgins that are between 85 gene quality and 99. Right, so you can play with the yellow line. Yellow line means that this is a rank basically. It, it says that for this particular part, which, which is mouse, the lamb card, because it's higher, yellow line is higher than the, the, the risky fish, it means the lamb cards, the card, the, the, the parts with lamb will be more expensive. So if I will select, look, look at the price, it's 401 now. If I will deselect risky fish and I will select, I'm holding the control, so I, I keep my frozen parts in here. I'm just switching the lamb, so I'm holding the control and clicking on the lamb. It, it will switch the price a little bit to higher to higher range. See, it's, it, it, it used to be, well, it's almost the same in this case, but uh, 401, 404, and then you see Aranda switches because it's probably a better build when you have an Aranda here. So it says Aranda is much, much higher in the price than the Shoal Star. So I will unselect Shoal Star and it will select Aranda. 
and you see it's almost increasing like 20% uh, higher in price so play with the yellow lines see it has to be also it has to have some volume to it because otherwise you will be limited to the number the, the lowest number of the volume so let's say if I will pick a shrimp have a look at the shrimp it only has 136 uh, cards within this date selection right that has shrimp for sale versus Nemo that has uh, 3000 right so if I will pick shrimp for example it will reduce my amount significantly to this like two just two cards that were sold in this combination within these two days or not even two days it's five days right you can also here sort by volume or sort by name uh, right so this is just for convenience uh, but yeah the, this is the main point you have to play with this and you will you will have a feel on how much which builds are and you can also discover the builds uh, the builds yourself without even knowing the game just by looking at the prices and the volumes like if you see something like you know Miranda and the lamb have pr high high pro price points and then like for example Nima and goldfish it, it will give you some viable probably some viable uh, combinations for the builds right so and and another point is you're not only limited to the pure axis so you can actually reduce your d to five for example that means that now you're looking at uh, hybrid builds where you have some impurities in d and that comes from different classes like in our case you can do uh, now you see it's longer list in here of the cards because you now share the cards with different classes and let's say here is the cute bunny that you can pick cute bunny and then you can right away say with the cute bunny the most common combination will be show star nima and goldfish just by by the volume and then further along it's a clamshell koi anemone so once you pick something it will recalculate everything and based on recalculation you might see different pictures so let's say we switch now from like cute bunny and i'm picking clamshell for the horn so you can see now it's recalculated this right side and now you can see that the most common build for clamshell and cute bunny is nima and the goldfish however the amount again is not that large and that's probably because of the gene quality because you have to make sure you have to account uh, to the impure d right so you have to reduce that and uh, maybe number of breeds you still will have low volume uh, so you might probably uh, tweak and switch to something higher volume and it actually it suggests you that this is not the best price now with that combination so you can switch to render and it will give you some sort of a build that you can you know tweak further so this is how you use this third part it's very flexible you just play with it and you will find out the, your ways of figuring out the prices figuring out what's popular figuring out what our builds are trending you know you can look at the longer without 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 switching anything you can move the sliders and see at the longer time periods how the price is stable or not and so on and so on and uh, don't forget that you can also look you know always click uh, on something on some links and, and look at the axis itself see who sells it maybe they have a farm and you know do do your research now let's move to the part four uh, it's just about advanced filters and how you want to control your r1 uh, you don't want to just guess by looking at this uh, at the d how what, what's in your r1 because if you're breeding you probably want to have r1 that represents uh, the same build right when you breed so in, for that it's a good example is a, a leaf bug build right so we, we will pick that one so it's for plant and it's impure so you want to make sure that the leaf bug is also in r1 horn at least right and how you do it you just select your, your build here so it's pumpkin carrot series and leaf bug right so you have your number of axes found and you know your average price you know your history um that's all not about this but uh but uh if you want to make sure that your 
R1 have a leaf bug. Basically, what you do is you look, it's a horn. You just pick it from here. You, you, you select R1 mouse. You have to unselect everything to so make sure that you those are white. And then you just browse for leaf bug. Right? And make sure that it says leaf bug in here because if it says multi select, it means you selected everything except leaf bug. So make sure that you see leaf bug over here. And once you do that, you, you're actually looking at the builds. Every build in this 462 axis would have leaf bug in R2 guaranteed. Um, well, those are all printers. They, you can tell it by 4 4 number in here. So all four parts in all R's are the same as in D. But if you look something like that, where it says in R1 you have only two machine parts, I know for sure because I selected this that one of these parts will be leaf bug, and we can open this axis, for example, and make sure that this is this is the case. And so leaf bug, and if I look at the parts, see leaf bug, leaf bug, guaranteed. All right, so this is to work with your parts. You also can tweak your R2 purity thresholds, right? So you don't want to see anything that has less than four, for example. And then you also can filter by C grade. So if you don't want to see anything inconsistent to your axis, you just switch it to like something like three, three zero to four four. Uh, and that will sort it out for you. It will remove all the axis that has less than three zero. You know, or I can move it even further. But mind you that it's a it's it's a number that is composite. So everything just that higher than four in any digit, first one or second one, doesn't make much sense because we're only comparing four parts, right? Mouse, horn, tail, and back. So, all right. So this is pretty much it. Thank you very much.